Well, here we go. Let's uh, take a look at preparing our web server to perform common gateway interface code, CGI code. Now this gets a little bit tricky depending on what you're using for a server, whether you're using uh, XP Pro, uh, trying to do this on Windows XP Home, if you have a Linux machine, uh, or if you're going to use your ISP, uh, your internet service provider slash hosting company, it, it all depends comes down to having CGI bin capability. We talked a little earlier that uh, CGI bin is set up as the binary location for our executables, and there used to be a CGI-SRC source, uh, which is where C code source code used to sit before the executables were created to, to run on the web server. Most people use uh, scripting and, and other tools like that these days, other uh, programming languages to do their CGI work, but we have chosen to use to use the C language, obviously, since that's what we're learning about. So let's uh, take a look at what it's going to take to create the uh, locations and set the server up to do this. Now, if you have XP Pro then you may already have the uh, IIS, the Internet Information Services, already running on your system. To find out, you simply open a web browser. Here I have mine opened uh, up to uh, just a blank page, and you, you browse or surf to a site called Localhost. And Localhost, as you probably know, is the the name commonly given to the machine itself, which is address 127.0.0.1. Well, if we go to localhost and it does something like this, switches over to localstart.asp, and then uh, you can see it kind of resizes itself, and then it's going to bring up some uh, Microsoft stuff about XP Pro. It says that the web service is now running. All right, so IIS is already running, and you have to install IIS when you initially put uh, XP onto your system. You tell it uh, it's one of the options that you have. If you want to add uh, IIS after the fact, you're better off just doing a, a Google search of install IIS. It's relatively easy, but you have to go into the control panel, uh, add remove uh, software, and then you're going to add remove operating system components. And after you go through that, uh, you can select the uh, IIS server itself and, and network services to be installed, and that will install IIS. Hopefully, uh, you uh, already have this installed because you've been interested in the web and doing some other things. Uh, and if you have, your local host will have done this, and it will also open up a tab with the getting started, which is your IIS documentation uh, and how to use the uh, Internet Information Service services on your on your system. Okay, so let's go back here. Now, if X, XP Pro is running, which is what we have here, uh, we have IIS on there, localhost work, and now we need to make a place to put our executables within the uh, server's directories that it uses. IIS is commonly installed to INET pub www root, and uh, that's its home directory where it keeps things. We are going to create a new directory under there called CGI bin, and to do that, we rely on our good old Visual Studio command prompt here, and we will go to inet pub. W is root, and that has uh, all of the uh, files in it uh, that come with the, uh, the compiler. And yours might uh, be a little bit different if you've already done some things with your web server. And then we would make CGI bin, which I've already done, and then we can take a look inside it. And of course in yours there won't be anything there, but uh, in ours we have a few programs already there that you're going to see in just a few videos. So there's our CGI binary, and I've just called it that. You can call it whatever you want, but I've called it that as uh, by convention so that we understand what's in there and, and uh, you will get more used to working with uh, the CGI bin as a location for your executables. 